Sagittarius, what's going on? I hope you guys are doing lovely. So I'm coming to you from a barren desert, all right? And the sun's kind of harsh. So bear with me, ladies and gents. Bear with me. Interesting. Look at that. Look at the light effect. I don't know why he's doing that. It doesn't flicker like that in my eyes. Strange. I guess the, uh, the shutter speed of the camera is capturing it strangely. I guess it's not fast enough or something. I don't know. But anyways, I hope you guys are doing lovely. This is going to be a first half of the month reading. I want to see what's going on with you guys in the first half of October. All right, let's see what's going on with Sagittarians. The first half of October. Let's get three more shuffles and get a general energy of what is going on. Oh, shit. Ladies and gents, it looks like my room service... Just got here. Bloody hell. <clears throat> this shit always happens. All right. One second. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Anyways, back to reality. So, what's going on? I'm coming to you from a barren desert, I'm telling you. And, uh, anyways, let's see what's going on. I had some shit go to laundry. See, I just, I shuffle. You guys are getting some behind the scenes, all right, into my life. So, I hope you guys enjoy. So, let's get two more shuffles. I want to see what the overall energies are for Sagittarius. <clears throat> Believe me, I'm going to have some magic for you guys. So, stick around. Ace of Wands, New Beginning, Queen of Wands, and the Devil Energy, the Empress, Sagittarius. What's going on with this new beginning? Walking away from something, I feel. Moving on from old paradigms, or at least seeking to relinquish some sort of, some sort of toxicity, some sort of confusion, something that you had a very difficult time dealing with. The Justice, okay. Yeah, I feel that you you got your justice. I don't know what happened here. You might have went through a difficult time or, you know, exactly that. You might have undergone some serious sleepless nights, a lot of confusion regarding a situation, but I really feel that you're breaking free from that. The high priestess. You could be in a place where you're kind of just keeping to yourself. You're not putting yourself out there. To, you're not putting yourself out there to be so emotionally available. The full energy. And this is obviously in transition. This is exactly what I've been saying. The full energy and the fool, or rather, the fool and the hermit. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> What's going on here with the Queen of Wands? This is you. The moon energy. Why the moon? What's going on with you, Sagittarius? I'm gonna, I'm gonna hook you guys up. All right. At the end of this reading, I'm gonna get some advice for you guys because, goddamn, looks like you guys need it. Let's see. So the moon energy and the ten of swords, three of wands. All right. Look, I feel that you're wanting to cooperate with somebody here. You had a major fallout, maybe a breakup. All right. I feel that you're in the dark regarding the situation, Sagittarius. I feel that you are kind of stuck on somebody, to be frank. And I get the sense that you're wanting to work on this relationship. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? Oh my goodness. So, you little devils. You little devils. You little devils. What's going on here with the devil energy? Ooh, communication. Hmm. Interesting. I see forward movement, progress, progress, <laughs> progress, progress. Mind you, I just took two shots of espresso, ladies and gents. That's why I'm fucking hot. All right, I'm fucking cooking from the inside out. I got the, I got the AC blowing in the back, but yet, yet I am still cooking up. All right, and I'm a bit stuttery, so bear with me. Bear with me. Bear with me, Sagittarius. Look at that, look what flew out. The Emperor, we're dealing with an Aries or a Capricorn. Anyways, what's going on here with the, mm, 
So I see, I see communication. Somebody here doesn't want another individual to move on. There's somebody moving the hell on from another individual, right? Somebody here's withdrawing. And then someone's like, no, buddy, I don't want you to move on. Nope. That's what I'm seeing here. All right. It's like somebody here's on their boat, possibly at a distance, physical distance or emotional distance. And they're like, nope, where are you going? I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with you. That's what it looks like. Maybe not in those words, but that's what the energy is spelling. All right. So what's Sagittarius's energy towards whomever it is that they got on their mind? I hope you ain't the toxic one, Sagittarius. All right. If you are, well, this message is going to be for you and it may be rough. Okay. What is Sagittarius's energy towards whomever it is that they're dealing with? What is Sagittarius's energy towards whomever it is that they're dealing with? The fool. So you're acting a fool. Hmm? You're acting a fool, Sagittarius, the high priestess. So what's with these major arcanas? What's going on? Why the fool? First, first and foremost. All right. So you're moving on, Sag. I see you moving on. I see you moving on from some sort of very turbulent feelings. All right. You're getting over something here. But to be frank, I feel that deep down, you're not. I feel that at a subconscious level. You are very stressed out about this. You're questioning whether you should do this or not. I feel that on the external, you may be thinking and telling yourself, yes, I need to move on. I want to move on. I'm making progress, this and that. But deep down, you're losing sleep over this. You're going to sleep thinking about the situation. It's fucking up your, it's fucking, it's, it's messing you up. Flat out, it's messing you up. So just, that's what I'm saying here. Ah, this is like that seven of swords energy. It's like self-sabotage when you want something but you don't you're like you deny yourself of it ladies and gents this is life we only live once why not just fucking gamble with love you know what i mean we only live once if you feel a deep calling for your you know your heart calling just go for it fuck it unless you of course you know it's something toxic for you and you don't belong in that situation then good for you right anyways tell me more about sagittarius's energy towards a person the empress and the four of wands and the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You love this individual. I knew it. No wonder I had to give you that spiel. No wonder, Sagittarius. Follow your goddamn heart. But also be discernful. Tell me more about Sagittarius's energy towards whomever it is that they're dealing with. The King of Wands. Mm. Either you find them very attractive. You see them as somebody that is just very confident. Exudes an element of charisma that's irresistible. Possibly has the tongue of a fallen angel, the seduction of a fallen angel. Somebody here that you have an attraction towards that you cannot deny, king and queen of wands. This is a power couple dynamic. They could be another fire sign like yourself, all right? And if not, this is just simply an explosive magnetic energy that you just cannot deny yourself of. That is what I'm seeing your energy being towards this individual. Now, this individual may feel the same considering we have the king and queen of wands. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. I gotta work on my posture, ladies and gents. All this fucking hunchback from Northern Dane is fucking up my back. Anyways. I don't want to hear your advice on get a chair or they would just keep it. All right? I know I like chairs. I like to use chairs, but I'm not using one right now. So go figure. Anyways, Sagittarius, what's going on with the person that you're dealing with? Seven of coins. This individual ain't moving. They ain't lifting a finger, I'll tell you that. Oof. Ten of swords. Ten of, or rather, the wheel of fortune. These are two tens. This individual is going through a completion. Going through an ending. Ah, they're going through an ending. This is painful. Yeah. Fuck. They're having a hard time with this ending with the devil energy. All right. This is something that they cannot let go. They cannot let you go. This individual cannot let you go. Why? Because they got love for you. All right. That's why. Oh, Lord. Talk about that toxic type of love, ladies and gents. That toxic type of love. Tell me more about Sag Sagittarius' person and their energy towards you. What is this? Fuck. What did I say? Seven of Swords earlier? This is that self-sabotaging energy, ladies and gents. Hmm. This is that individual. This is one of this is one of those type of individuals that's denying themselves of what their heart feels. Fuck it. They may know that you're toxic. Are you toxic? 
Is that why they're staying away from you? Why are they staying away from Sagittarius? Let's find out. Why are they staying away from Sagittarius? Mind you, in the extended, I'm going to be looking at their mind. I want to look into their mind and see how is it that they view you. They probably see you as a goddamn player, don't you? You little knight of wants. Unreliable, untrustworthy. <clears throat> Playboy, playgirl. Let's see. How, why is it that they're in this energy towards Sagittarius? Fuck the two of cups. I'm, well, I'm not getting any negative thing. I'm, I'm simply getting the fact that they're like this. Because they actually love you. That's why they're so fucked up and bent out of shape right now. Tell me more about this individual's energy towards Sagittarius. Here we go again, ladies and gents. The Seven of Swords. They're fucking turning their back, guys. This individual here ain't... ain't uh, nope. They're, they're evading. They're turning their back. <clears throat> this individual is... Even though they love you, they're, they're not going towards you. Alright, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that much. In the extent, I'm going to be looking into their feelings. I'm going to be looking into their mind. I'm going to be looking into their actions during these next two weeks. I'm also going to be looking at the future of this situation. All right. But before we go there, I'm going to deliver you this words of wisdom, this advice, whatever message wants to come forward, which I promised you. What's going on? Any words of wisdom for Sagittarians that are resonating with this? Two of Wands. Time to make a choice there, buddy. You got to make a choice. Pick a path. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Enough thinking. All right. Enough thinking there, buddy. Make a choice. That's it. I don't know what, the, what this is about. Don't ask me. You know what this is about. Not me. But it's saying make a goddamn choice. Let me just take a look at a little deeper look for my own curiosity. All right. I'll probably turn off the camera. And I'll, I'll exclude this. What's going on? What is this choice here? The Wheel of Fortune. Some sort of choice about turning a situation around. Is it for them or is it for the relationship? Is it for them or the relationship? Okay, Nine of Wands. Give me another, give me another card. Mm -hmm, the Sun. All right, look. It, does, it goes both ways. It goes both ways. This is what I'm seeing here. Some of you guys are inclined to turning the situation around between you and this individual. Wheel of Fortune, or rather, the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Wands. All right. With that said, Sagittarius, some of you need to make a choice, maybe towards this relationship or maybe not, maybe towards your own personal happiness. All right. But one thing is certain, you are definitely in a wounded state in which you need to make some sort of decision for the sake of unstucking yourself, getting yourself out of the state where you're just not moving forward. Why? Because you're hindering yourself from your ultimate potential. You're hindering yourself from your greater self. So make a choice, ladies and gents. Make a choice. It's time to make a choice during this month, all right? Mind you, you're getting this reading on the 2nd of October. This is a new moon. It's a perfect time to banish things, okay? You don't have to get into no rituals or anything. Just you can simply align with the universal forces and say, all right, I'm going to be intentional and I'm going to, mind you, that whole ritual of writing something down that you want to get rid of and burning it under the, the new moon is not necessarily, the magic's not there. The magic is you intentionally aligning with what it is that you're doing and the psychological impact that it has. You putting that effort, you using the universal forces to align. And the more you're adding to this ritual is having a greater impact on your psyche. And that's what's facilitating. That's why occult science is so powerful. Not because of hocus pocus or magic and energy. Yes, sure. But more so because of the psychological impact that you are putting in your mind as you are focusing and dialing down and creating these changes within you in order for your external reality to change. Anyways, I'm taking this to the extended. If you're interested, the link will be in the description. I love you, Sagittarius. I'll see you guys next time.